Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes here. So I've been on vacation for 10 days. So like 10 days of not really knowing out, going out with the NBA. And I come home to hearing about rumors of the Lakers needing to trade LeBron James. What is going on with the bitches? NBA man, like, see, man, 10 days I'm gone for. I get home. LeBron James being traded. Lakers not making playoffs. My Detroit Pistons are the new Golden State Warriors. Like, what has happened, man? Have I, like, teleported? Is this, like, some bitch ass loss? I mean, I want some airplane and I'm in some different time dimension. Like, what is going on right now with the league? I really don't get it. Um, but I decided for today's video, I guess I'm going to buy into it, man. And I'm going to do a road to championship Lakers rebuild with trading LeBron James. I don't know if it's even programming. I don't know if I can actually trade LeBron. Can you actually do that? If that's, I feel like that's like just like one of the, the seven deadly sins of the world. So let me make my bitch ass a little bit smaller right here, guys. By the way, man, vacation was great. Thank you guys for the support on the videos. Um, You know, throughout vacation, I did have daily uploads still. But yeah, man, so thank you so much for the support on there. I talked more about it over on my second channel, Extra Crispy. So yeah, guys, we are going to be trading LeBron James. So... I'm not quite sure how to do this because you go trade finder. He, he does not have a no trade clause. I apparently a no trade clause is not a thing anymore in the NBA. Um, but yeah, so no offers were found. So the only way we can do this is by trading him ourselves. And I mean, like you look at the rest of the roster. Uh, the reason for trading LeBron, I guess, is that I guess I guess is uh, Stan or Jeff Van Gundy, whatever it was, was talking about like. The Lakers need to realize the timeline they're in and realize that LeBron's older. He's not going to carry this squad. So you already have you know, some nice players in Kuzma, Brain, Ingram, Lonzo Ball. You want to keep their confidence up and, you know, just kind of play into that next window. So that is going to be our big three of this video, guys. Lonzo, uh, Ingram, and Kuzma, whoever else we can get in the LeBron James trade. Should have a ton of cap space freed up, but I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not sure what type of trade we're going to try to get out of this right here because... I want to trade him to a team he wants to go to. I feel like that would, you know, that's at least what you, you can't trade him to the day. I guess any team he goes to is going to be a better team still. But, yeah, man. So, uh, the positions I'd be looking at is the center position or the small forward position. I'm sorry, the shooting guard position. Either one of those. Um, so, I was looking at, like, Chicago Bulls. Like, maybe some sort of Zach Levine, Lord marketing trade would be kind of nice. But, uh, or maybe even, like, I don't know. I don't know. What, what, what the, you think the Bulls would do that much? Because then it's like you leave no players left to play with, uh... LeBron James, you got the Cavaliers not doing that. You got uh, the Celtics. I mean, ooh. Damn, dude. If I could get, like, Tatum and Jalen Brown, and then Kyrie and LeBron teaming up yet again, that's something to think about. We got the Clippers. That was one of the teams they were talking about. Um, I don't really see any players. I, you know, like, like Montrez would be nice. He's on a one-year, $6 million deal. So, money reasons, it's not going to work. They don't really have any shooting guards I want all that much. I mean, you know, Lou Williams is nice, but he's 32. He did play for the Lakers before, though, guys. Uh, we got the Heat, the Hornets. You got the Jazz up in here, man. You got the Kings. Kings would actually be kind of cool, and they do have some young talent down here where you can make it work. So, I think I might try to see what I could do with this. Like, maybe, like, a Marvin Bagley. We'll do that. And I'm going to say I want a shooting guard bag. I think I would go with uh, Bogdan Bogdanovich and put him at the shooting guard spot. Because, um, like, Buddy Heal, I, I, don't, I don't know if the Kings would do that. So, Bogdanovich. And I want, like... I want, like, three first-round draft picks out of this, guys. Like, three first-round picks. So, I guess, okay, I only got some seconds I can take right here. We'll take that one and also this one right here. And uh, I guess we'll do, yeah, we'll do this one right here. See if this gets it done. I'm not sure it will. And we're not getting enough back for what we're giving up. I, I mean, you're getting LeBron James. You know, the king is going to the kings. So, okay, who else can we toss in? Uh, I guess maybe we can toss in uh, Josh Hart's on expire. I know, I guess he got, he got a two-year team option, but I'm not really looking to get rid of him. Uh, we got Wagner, we got Isaac Bonga, I guess, so let me toss in Wagner, I guess, and we're not getting enough, okay, well, I'll toss in some second round picks, maybe to sweeten the pot a little bit here, and we'll see if that works, and still not getting enough, wow, you guys are just some picky SOBs, okay, well, we'll do a first round pick, I guess, a swap, still not getting enough, what about this, and we're not interested, got anything else, okay, well, Guys, give me a second here, man. I gotta try to find a LeBron James trade. That's why I like Trade Finder because just like the CPU is really hard to trade with this game. So, yeah, guys, give me a second. I'm gonna try to find a good LeBron James trade. Okay, guys, so I did find a trade to go through, and I thought it was actually pretty solid. Maybe you guys will disagree with me on this one, but uh, I don't know, man. I was trying to find some sort of trade to go down. I did LeBron James to the Rockets for Clint Capella, a 25 year old center. Uh, Chris Paul, who would be a great, fantastic mentor for Lonzo Ball, and just a locker room guy to really get these young bloods out there. I, you know, having a smart point guard like that, it just makes a lot of sense. Also, a 2023 first round pick. 
then LeBron James gets to go play with James Harden on the Houston Rockets and contend over there. And finally, man, we can see what, you know, Chris Paul would be like on the Los Angeles Lakers because once upon a time he was supposed to get traded over there. I mean, come on, man. Like, we, we know other trades could potentially definitely happen. Wait, maybe more, maybe less. But uh, for the sake of the video, for the sake of this challenge, I thought this was definitely a good one going forward. So, you know, the reason behind this is because I'm kind of thinking I'll probably put uh, either Chris Paul or Lonzo at the shooting guard spot and just do like a double backcourt of the point guards, kind of like how, you know, the Clippers used to run it with uh, Chauncey Billups and Chris Paul. So I think that'll definitely work out for us there, man. Plus defense for that backcourt has a lot of potential. So we are now going to go to the NBA draft. We have the 11th pick in this one and uh, we are going to see what we can get right there. Hopefully something pretty crispy might be able to potentially trade up in the draft. And yeah, we got 27 trade offers. So might be able to get somebody else. We got Jer Smith. Um, I mean, not really any, like, I, I guess like the bench I'd want to strengthen a lot. We got Mantras right here. That's a really nice trade for us. Uh, we got Alex Len, Kelly Olenek, Rui Hachimura, Dante Exum, Bogdan Bogdanovich, who I actually do like a lot. I feel like he would be a fantastic six man. He's only 26. And we get Caleb Swanigan out of it. Uh, draft pick Tim Hardaway, Joe Harris, also not too bad right there. All right, we got Luke Kennard, who's been killing it for the uh, Detroit Pistons as of late. Uh, TJ Warren, Stephen Adams. Okay, so definitely some really solid trades. We got Nazir Little right there, um, although I don't really need him at all. So I think, man, it's either going to be Luke Kennard, who's only 23, or I want to go with Bogdanovich. But I feel like... Damn, that's a nice trade there, guys. He only had one-year deal, though, but, so, uh, but he's a lot older than uh luke Kennard is because you know about three years different so i think i'm gonna go luke Kennard to be a six man on this team and then, of course the pistons get a nice draft pick out of it so we'll do that just that there wasn't really like a player out there i was really thinking i needed i mean you know the big guys like the uh i don't know man yo i guess yeah what, what draft class is this let me make sure i have the right draft class before we get going on this man yo give me one second okay yeah we're good to go so we do have a two-year uh, option on kuzma we got one on ingram two on lonzo and two on josh hart um, I guess Luke Kennard will probably actually go to the small forward position. So we do got Josh Hart. Maybe Josh Hart can be back to a point guard, something like that. But uh, qualifying offers, nothing with that. Free agency. So hopefully we still got some big time money here to really strengthen the bench. And uh, I mean, obviously, you know, if we get like, if we go for like Kevin Durant, that would be what we want to do out there. We are a bit short on that. So that's probably not going to be happening. Let's go over to the cap hole, see what we got with this. And if we got any exceptions here. And uh, no, not really. And guys, you know, like, I don't really want Case to be back for no 18 million. No. Rondo for that much. Lance Stevenson, don't really see myself bringing him back. JaVel, potentially. I could definitely see myself potentially doing that. But uh, we'll see. And I guess do we have any bitch-ass contracts? The thing is that Chris Paul does have two years left on his deal. But, uh, you know, if we don't have the money right now to sign any big names. It's like, it's all about development of the team. We got the leader guy in Chris Paul. So, that's actually quite okay with me. But, I mean, you know, if you can, go, if you can get a Kevin Durant, you go for it, right? Kawhi Leonard also still available. And, uh, yeah, we're short from uh, signing him. Any of these other guys really want to go for, you know, we can't get Clay Thompson, but that's okay. Just don't really see him fitting into this current puzzle of this team, Chris Milton. Yeah, man, I think I'm just going to actually save my money. So, we were good to shooting guard spot. Point guard spot, I'll probably go with Josh Hart right there. Um, backup center, I would actually like to get our dude back if we can. Where's he at? Where's he at, man? Gotta go to, gotta go to centers. Uh, yeah, it's affordable center. Yeah, Javel McGee. Definitely want to come back on a three-year deal. I mean, he's been fantastic for the Lakers, I would say. So, we'll get him and maybe a bit of a power forward. So, we got Derek Favors. We got uh, Thaddeus Young, another locker room veteran. We got Jermichael Green. Uh, Green's only 29. We also got Marcus Morris for only $9 million. But I think I'm going to go with uh, Jermichael Green right here for a two-year deal. So, we'll sign him up. And, yeah, guys, I think I'm good to go. Um, not too much else going on this season. Just going to continue to develop the team. So, let's go ahead simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so this is what the team looks like so far. We got Chris Paul at point guard. Lonzo Ball at the point guard, shooting guard position. You know, man, you know, I said double point guard backcourt. Uh, Ingram at small forward. Kuzma at the four spot. Clint Capella at the five. Bench unit Michael Green. JaVel McGee. Uh, we got Josh Hart at shooting guard. We got Luke Kennard at small forward. And I'm not going to worry about a backup point guard. I feel like, like I said, man, Josh Hart can play the position if needed. Or you can kind of like stagger uh, Chris Paul and Lonzo Ball's minutes so one of those guys are both on the court as, at all times. But yeah, man, I think this team's definitely heading in the right direction here. Uh, I'm going to go over here to the... Yo, where's it at? Where's it at? We want to go to... Yeah, I don't really use it all that often, man. You know what I'm saying? The... Uh, man, where's it at, man? Yeah, player mentorship. There we go. Okay, so I want... Of course, want Lonzo Ball to be mentored... Wait, do I have this wrong? Do I, do, I, do I have this the... I think I have this the wrong way, man. 
I want, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I want Lonzo to be mentored by Chris Paul. And we are going to have him mentor him in the art of, I don't know, man, Dimer. We'll go with Dimer, of course. Hell, I haven't worked on that. Catch and shoot would be nice. And let's go with uh, Acrobat. And there we go. So we are going to set the uh, mentorship to that. And any other ones that I really feel the need to do, I guess we'll have, um, let's go with, where's he at? We have Brandon Ingram. Have him get mentored by, I'm thinking probably Jermichael Green. He's got, you know, he's got some age on him right there. He's, he's like 29. So we'll go with the uh, pick and popper, catch and shoot. And I guess put back King will go with that right there. So that gives us our lineup for this season, guys. I mean, it's not going to win the championship at the same time, man. Um, a few more seasons, I think we can definitely get there. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate this season and see just how good this Lakers team can really do. Okay, so the team got themselves a solid 45 wins this season. One more game against the uh, Timberwolves. So definitely looking pretty good out there, at least better than last year. So uh, yeah, man, 46 wins. Uh, we got Stephen Curry MVP at 37 points per game. Zion Rookie of the Year on the New York Knicks. Uh, Dennis Schroeder, six-man Giannis defensive player. Marvin Bagley. Billy Donovan, okay. All NBA first team. Chris Paul actually making that. So he had himself a nice uh, bounce back season. We got LeBron James, 9 9 overall now uh, on the Houston Rockets. Again, All NBA first, All NBA second, and All NBA third. So, yeah, we have the uh, Lakers as the fourth seed. And we got the Houston Rockets actually getting it at the third seed with LeBron and James Harden. But uh, let's go to the player stats on the season. So we got Chris Paul at 22 points, 5 rebounds, 13 assists. That's fantastic. Uh, Ingram at 21 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. Really good season for him, man, in that 20-plus range. Always good to see. Uh, we got 18.6 rebounds for Kuzma. We got 15 and 12 for Clint Capella. And a nice, solid double-double with the 5 rebounds and 2 steals per game for Lonzo Ball. So he's actually working out nicely at the shooting guard position. Um, now, I, and that's, that's the crazy part, man. He's averaging 11 assists. And we're getting 13 from Chris Paul. So just like the ball movement in the backcourt uh, is pretty much next level. We got Luke Kennard at about, uh, what was that, man? Five points per game, uh, eight for Jermichael Green. Javel McGee doing his thing out there. Josh Hart at about five a game. So yeah, man. Okay, first round, the Dallas Mavericks. Simulate current round. See how this goes for us, man. Let's go out there and beat them real quick and just move on from this video. And it actually looks like we're going to lose first round to Luka Doncic. And uh, yeah, we 3-2. All right. Well, we lost four games. You can't say I didn't ex... No, we got Derrick Rose. Derrick Rose, 25 points drop rounds. Okay. Uh, Ingram at 26 uh, points, 25 for Kuzma, 21 assists for Chris Paul. So, yeah, plain and simple, guys. We just lost. I mean, I can't really think of any big-time improvements we need to make to this team yet. Because uh, after this season, Chris Paul's contract is going to be up, I believe. So, we got to think about the future of that. But, you know, the, he was our best player. He made All-NBA, what, first or second team. So, I mean, he's still playing like one of the most elite point guards in the NBA right now. So, uh yeah, I'm not looking to trade him or do anything drastic like that. We are going to go to the, uh, I guess, staff signing. By the way, man, I, I forgot to tell you guys, I did fire Luke Walton, and I did sign up Tyrone Lue because I heard he might be actually the next coach of this team, um, which also kind of, I don't know if that was a joke. Maybe I just took it seriously or if that was actually a true statement. But uh, we are going to go to the NBA draft because I think we have Houston's pick either this year or next year. Regardless, it's not going to be a very good one anyway. But, uh, you know, who knows, man? Yeah, so we have the 24th pick right here. So choose prospect. Um, as far as players available, we got a 72 overall Ashton Haggins, who is a point guard. We do need a backup point guard. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the best available right there and snatch him up. And I'm not going to worry too much about the second round pick. Uh, and then, yeah, so we go to rookie signings. 73 overall. Probably not going to play this season. Maybe I'll put him in the G League. Team player options. Going to bring back all these guys. I'll look like some... Good uh, deals to me. Good contracts. Qualifying offers. Brand Ingram. I'm just going to go ahead and throw Ingram his uh, offer now because I do plan on re-signing him anyways. So, might as well keep him happy and, you know, throw him his contract. If I can do so. Yes, I do have the rights on him. So, I'm going to give him a nice sign. Well, not that much. Whoa, 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 man. Let's uh, tone it down just a little bit. And he agrees to that. Five years, $137 million contract. So, let's get out of the moratorium period and uh, see if we can, I guess... I don't know, I don't got any, I don't got any big time changes to make. Like, our team is set. I think I'll go with, you know, actually, Alfred Payton on a two-year deal while our other point guard develops. Uh, that wouldn't be too bad. So, come on, man. Come on, come on, man. Can we get Alfred Payton two year $15 million? That's nice. Still got Luke Kennard. Still got Josh Hart. Still got JaVale McGee. 
I'm good to go, man. I'm gonna use my training camps and just simulate to the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so here is the lineup. Uh, I believe this is what the third, second, third season now, man. We got Chris Paul, Lonzo Ball, Ingram, Kuzma, Clint Capella, same song and dance for that. Uh, bench unit looking pretty much the same, too, except the addition of a 7 8 overall Alfred Payton. Got Javel McGee. Gonna go with a 10 man rotation this time. Um, as far as the system proficiency, we are gonna go with grit and grind. It's Tyrone Lou's specialty, and it's a four star for this system right here, man. So, yeah, 46 wins last season. Uh, I want to aim for like 50 wins. If I get around that range, I'll be happy to get anything less than that. Be a little upset. We'll see how it goes. So let's go ahead, man, and simulate this next NBA season. Okay, so 48 wins on the season. Oh, we are not going to hit the 50 win mark. But I mean, if we get 49 wins, 48, it's close enough, I guess. I was just kind of hoping for that next big jump. Um, it really did not come this year. But the ratings show otherwise. It shows this team should be one of the best in the entire NBA. But... I mean, 49 wins in the Western Conference. Still going to be good for, like, third place, probably, which uh, I guess I cannot complain about that. As you guys see all the awards here, we do have Chris Paul making All-NBA second team. And uh, that's the only one of our players making these sort of teams right there that I can see. And we are the... Okay, we're actually the second seed in the Western Conference, so a lot better than I um, originally expected. But player stats, we got Ingram at 20 points, uh, three rebounds, three assists. Chris Paul, you know, his stats are going to start to go down a little bit. Starting, they're starting to dip. He's 35, so... It definitely does make sense. Uh, Kuzma has 16 points, 6 rebounds. Um, I was kind of hoping he would be like another like 20 point per game score for this team. But I don't know. It seems like the 16 point per game range is kind of what he's averaging for these, uh, you know, simulations and stuff. Uh, Lounge of the ball seems to put up the same exact stats every single year. So I don't really don't know what to do about that. It's just like 10 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists. It's kind of what he's doing out there. We got Clint Capella at, what, 16 and 14. So he's been a nice piece to the team pretty much. But uh, Luke Kennard, Josh Hart. I know they're not playing like a ton of minutes, but they're still getting like, you know, about 18 minutes a game. I was kind of hoping for a bit better from them, but they did not bring it this season either. So we are going to go to this first round against Utah. See if we can get past this at least. And uh, lost game one. Okay, tied series because I don't know, I've not got past the first round yet. So I guess I only made the playoffs one time. This is the third season, but we do beat them four games to one. We do have uh, probably Anthony Davis and the Pelicans in the second round. Uh, 30 and 14 for Clint Capella triple double for chris paul who is realizing yo man i'm getting kind of old here can we like win a championship or something i'm doing my best for you cp3 okay next up the brow simulate current round because for some reason man anthony davis stays with the pelicans in this game so uh yeah we up 2-1 looking pretty good 3-1 and if we're lucky we get the clippers in the western conference and we do and i mean i'm looking at all these teams here maybe with the exception of milwaukee i'm feeling like we can beat any one of these teams on the board so here is the closeout game for this one uh next up we got the clippers Simulate current round, man. Hometown rival, or home, I mean, home home stadium rival, uh, even more so. And, yeah. They got the best of us. Four games to one, man. Come on with the second scene, man. All right, they got Kyrie Irving on the scene. It was actually a really good look out there, my guy. So, uh, 34 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists. Uh, all right, well, we move on to another season. It is Road to Championship, so we keep on going until we win it all. Uh, we got the Bucks and Giannis finally getting themselves a championship, so good for them, at least. But now we kind of got to, like, explore the idea. Of, I think Chris Paul's contract's either up or he has a uh, player option. So we might have to explore the idea of trading him away now. Um, we're doing something out there, guys, because we're just, I don't know, we're so close. It's like we're so close. So I guess if we could get something for Chris Paul at this point, if, if it's a really good trade for us, it allows our team to get younger but still stay the same uh, rating-wise, then we probably look into doing that. But, uh, yeah, if I remember correctly... He does have some sort of option, so that's probably not going to happen. Uh, we're going to go straight over here. We do have the 25th and 27th pick in the draft, so maybe I can actually package both of those together and see if we can get one of the players from the earlier rounds. So we got Jop right there. We got uh, Kem Birch, who is 28, 79 overall player. Uh, Terry Rozier, I do like the idea of him as a backup point guard, plus again, Daniel Tice, because JaVel McGee is getting a bit older. We got Lou, ooh, Lou Williams. It's got a two-year, $0 million contract. Don't know how that one quite works, but uh, I'll probably take that. No, I, I probably won't. I really don't need that position at all. No, man, I think I'm going to go over here and go with the uh, ooh, Rudy Gay. Power forward, $11 million. Andrew Roberson for some... Yo, I, actually, I like the idea of Roberson for some defense. Let me do that one, guys. I'm going to get Roberson for some defense. It just... He'll be nice to have off the bench. So, it's not like he's extremely old or nothing like that. Uh, rookie signings. Yeah, nothing there. Team player options. So, yes, Chris Paul does have a player option. I'm going to bring back Maurice Wagner also. And we're going to go qualifying offers. Hopefully, we can get all these guys back. 
Um, I guess like Josh Hart, I don't know if I really want to throw him an offer though, because like I'm not really using him all that much. He's gonna want a lot of money. So let me go to my bird rights first. Hey, definitely gotta get Kuzma back. Gonna get him about $42 million. Uh Lonzo Ball, he's the next priority for us. Uh, I'm gonna go Luke Kennard also at the uh I mean, however much he wants right there. And then I guess I'll throw Josh Hart off her because, but I'm, I'm sure one of those guys, either Luke or Josh, will probably end up being traded away. So I get, I get my big three back, or, you know, some of my big three, I guess I should say. Okay, next up, Josh Hart, you get him that contract right there. And, yeah, so we get Tim. He is one rating higher. And he, I believe he's also, no, he's about the same age as Luke and our uh, one year difference. So. I'm good with that, man. I think I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season and maybe look at some trade offers for uh, Chris Paul. Okay, so I found a trade here that I like quite a bit. Uh, Chris Paul and Luke Kennard over for Jalen Brown and Gordon Hayward. Gordon will be coming off the bench for us, and Jalen Brown will be the new starting two of this team. I mean, it allows the team to get younger. You know, Gordon Hayward's a nice veteran to have either way, so he'll be nice in the locker room regardless. And Chris Paul gets to go to the Celtics, play Jason Tatum, you know, guys like that, Al Horford. So, I feel like it's a nice trade for both sides of things. They no longer have Kyrie Irving, so, I mean, they get a point guard in him. Um, and now our team is going to be looking like this. Let me go and put Lonzo back at the point guard spot. So, he goes down to 88, unfortunately, because of that, but it's all good. And, yeah, man, so we're looking at Lonzo, Jalen, Ingram, Kuzma, Capella, Ben Schoen, we got Gordon Hayward, Josh Hart, Alfred Payton, uh, Roberson. Don't really need Roberson all that much anymore, unfortunately speaking. But uh, I think I might try to package. I guess I'll do this. Let me, let, let me do this, guys. I'm going to put Josh Hart at point guard. And he goes down a few ring points. That's fine. He'll still be good for us. And I'm going to do a trade of Alfred Payton, hopefully for... Um, maybe I can package him with Wagner and try to get a better backup center behind Clint Capella. I guess that's really the goal with this. And then we can put, uh, you know, and then we can fix the rotation as we need to. So Frank Kaminsky would be a nice stretch. We also get J.R. Smith, uh, Devin Robinson, and Cody Zeller. I like that trade a lot. I don't really have room for Devin Robinson on the team, though. Bryce Johnson, he's from North Carolina, right? Yeah, I didn't know he was still in the NBA. I thought he didn't quite work out, but uh, here we are. Kelly Old Nick, Myers Leonard. We get strong at two positions. You know what, man? Give me that one. That one's fine. That will be good for us. And then, like, yeah, I got Tart over there. And I think we actually got enough for a 10-man uh, rotation now. So that's going to be the starting five. That's the bench. Overall, man, it's looking uh, pretty uh, dang crispy. I think I'm just going to stick it out with the nine-man rotation. Sorry, Mario Leonard. You're going to follow the rotation right here. But, yeah, guys, we definitely have a championship team. Like, the team is ready to compete for that. So let's go ahead. Simulate like this fourth or fifth NBA season and see if we can finally get it done. Okay, so it looks like the uh, new pieces to the team fit out perfectly, guys. 56 wins on the season. One more game against the San Antonio Spurs. We only got 29 wins, man. Greg Popovich must have retired a long time ago or something. No way Greg Popovich win 29 games. But uh, Ben Simmons gained the MVP award. Not seen that in this game before. Evan Mobley as uh, Rookie of the Year. Dennis Schroeder, six man. Anthony Davis, defensive player. Vernon Carey, most improved on the Warriors, of course. And Quinn Snyder, Coach of the Year on the Utah Jazz. So good for them, man. Uh, all NBA first, we do dodge games. Harden and LeBron James both getting that. So they are probably going to be a very tough team to uh, beat. You know, come these uh, NBA playoffs, but we are the second seed. I have never... What? I have never seen that in the history of NBA 2K, guys. Two players, all NBA first team for the Rockets. James Harden, LeBron James did not make the playoffs. Oh my God, I've never seen that before. Yo, let me go to these uh, conference standings. Wow, dude. They, yeah, 39 43. How do you not make the playoffs with two all NBA first? That makes no sense to me at all. But uh, player stats on the season, I guess. We got uh, Clint Capella, a nice zero points per game. No, I'm clearly on the wrong thing. What am I on? Player stats. Oh, I'm playoff stats, and the playoffs have not happened yet. Uh, player stats. Oh, yo, Ingram. I sound like you, man. 25 points, four rebounds, three assists. Kuzma at 18 and five. Clint team 16 and 14. Uh, Gordon Hayward looking like sixth man of the year, man. At the 15 off the bench. Jalen Brown, Lonzo uh, getting up to 14 assists per game. So that's awesome to see. You know, let me check out these Rockets real quick here. LeBron and uh, Harden. So, I mean, yeah, those are nice numbers. But uh, I guess when you have your next best player being Mac McClung and dang Adele or whatever. I thought Adele was a damn singer, bro. Uh, I don't know, man. Just not looking good. So we got Denver in the first round. Simulate current round. Come on, guys. Let's get these playoffs. Let's get this victory, man. And uh, so far, it's looking good. 2-1. Come on, let's get 3-1. Let's get that 4-0. 4-1. Okay, we beat them four games to one. 
uh, close out game for us. Looking like this 24 for Ingham, 21 16 for Kalikapella, who is low key, man, been like so consistent this entire video. Like, he's been a fantastic addition uh, to this team, more so than Chris Paul, you can probably even say. All right, next up, OKC, similar turn around here, see how this one goes. And so far, so good. 2 0, 2 1. Come on, get the 3 1. Get through. Get 3 with Get 3 2, guys. 3 2. We're looking good, man. Four games to two. Very nice. And unfortunately speaking, we do have the uh, number one seed Utah Jazz here in the Western Conference Finals behind 45 points for Donovan Mitchell, 23 for Clint Capella. And uh, they still got Rudy Gobert, Harry Giles, the Gojo Ingles. All right, here we go, guys. Simulate current round. See how it goes for us, man. 1 0, 1 2. Come on, get, get 2 1, guys. Come on, guys, please. Please, 2 2, 3 2, get 3 2, 4 2. We in the NBA Finals against the number one seed, Philadelphia 76ers. So, it's not getting much better, man. We still we got to get through another number one seed to get things done. Uh, their team looking pretty much the same, although, of course, they got Romeo Langford. Looks like they got uh, Bam out of bio now. All right, simulate current round. Come on, guys. Come on, man. I want to see it, bro. Did I win? Did I win? Did I win? Did I do it? Yeah, I won, guys. What I win, man? I mean, I guess I won the championship, right? Lonzo Ball. Yo, Troy Dan Game will be so happy about this video, guys. Uh, getting finals MVP. 11 points, 13 assists per game. We win four games to two. Kyle Kuzma, 34 points in the closeout. 26 for Gordon Hayward. 18 and 16 for Clint Capella. It's absolutely fantastic, guys. Anyway, man. Do I expect LeBron James to get traded? No, I do not. Do I feel like the Lakers should blow up their whole team and get rid of all these young guys? I don't think so either. Do I feel like it's a bad situation to be in? Yes, I do, man. I don't know what the hell to do. I, I'm glad I'm not Magic Johnson because, uh, I mean, I would be like a multi, multi, multi millionaire. So it wouldn't be too bad. But still, anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And peace out, my friends.